Some of my reverb units don't have any controls on them at all, and so it's a one-trick pony, and it might work really well for one thing, and then for the next thing, doesn't work at all. The VSS-3, for me, always has the ability to be a contender. My name is Brendan Murawski. I'm a recording engineer based in New York City. Some of the artists that I work with are Santi Gold, Alicia Keys, Rihanna, Beyonce, and Nicki Minaj. I recently won a Grammy for the work that I did on 1989 for Album of the Year with Taylor Swift. I was the recording engineer for Outside of the Woods produced by Jack Antonoff. My first experience with TC Electronics reverbs was with the VSS-4 on the System 6000 and then later with the VSS-3 on a TC Power Core. TC Electronics reverbs for me are the only reverb that I would put on an entire mix and it's the only reverb that I feel like is equivalent to being in an actual concert hall. They're very natural and very enjoyable to work with. My favorite section is the early reflection section. I love the fact that I can change the type of reflection just in this versus the reverb. The sound of the VSS-3 to me is the sound that I hear when I'm actually in the room listening to the group perform. I can also use the VSS-3 to help change the width and depth of an entire mix. Um, and no other reverb that I work with is able to do so much, but yet also be transparent when needed to be. I'm not a big preset guy, but being able to have smaller presets within larger presets is starting to drive me a little bit into it with this reverb. And I think it's a fun, user-friendly way for people who don't use presets to start saving themselves some time when they're working. I think that TC Electronics did a really good job figuring out what are the options that I need to have available to me so that I can take the time and actually learn all these presets. One of my favorite presets on the TC Electronics VSS-3 is the small wood room. I actually use it a lot on drums, pianos, strings, and sometimes on horns. The thing that I listen to the most in a reverb when I'm working with a preset or just creating a preset from scratch is how the high end is dampening. And I think that is one of the dead giveaways for digital reverb. And I like the fact that I not only have very good dampening control on it, but I also have a crossover to switch how big my band is and be able to change the dampening and the decay of my mid band, which really helps me get more depth out of my reverb without it sounding too digital and too harsh.